Hey homies, what's good? It's Chris and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a low carb recipe. Don't click off, stay right there because this one is full of flavors and I promise you won't regret making this. All right, let's get into it. Hey guys, good morning. I'm actually up watching Sharonika's video, doing some content for my business and Today I'm going to be doing a cooking video. That's the title that you saw. I'm sitting here trying to figure out exactly what ingredients I need to buy and what I have on hand. I tend to do that. I will say, okay, I'm going to cook this, get to the store, and then I buy double stuff and I'll come home. I have two jars of garlic. I have this. Da, da, da. So I'm trying to cut back on that. So yeah, I'm trying to cut back on double buying stuff because I do that. I'll go in the pantry and I have like three, four of the same thing. Go in the freezer, I have three, four of the same things. So I'm going to be doing a low carb dirty rice. That's the video that you're watching today is a low carb dirty rice. So we're going to be using ground beef. You can use ground turkey. You can use sausage. You can omit the sausage and the beef. You can do, um, I've seen somebody do a dirty rice with shrimp so you can do that as well um bell peppers onions celery and i am going to be using some creole seasoning so pretty simple and of course you need broth pretty simple so i just wanted to do that i took out a couple of chicken wings and i'm going to air fry them so we're going to have air fried chicken with some dirty rice so let's go all right, so my quarter in hand, let's get this Aldi's trip started. Don't worry, tomatoes and mushrooms are not going into this dish, but since I'm here, I might as well pick up the rest of my groceries. a yellow onion diced so we will be using a green bell pepper well this is about one fourth of a huge this was a pretty big one so I used about one fourth of that diced half of a large yellow onion diced one celery stalk diced a quarter of a large red bell pepper a quarter of a yellow bell pepper and a quarter of a orange bell pepper. Again, you can add what you like. This is what I used. A trick that I do is to put a paper towel in the bag and then place this in the refrigerator. I am using 100% grass-fed ground beef. I get this from Aldi's. 85% lean, 15% fat. No antibiotics, no growth hormones. So when I'm making ground beef, baby likes to come and taste the ground beef as I'm cooking it. Do any of you guys like medium rare ground beef? I'm like, what? At any rate, back to this dish. Go ahead and brown this off to your liking. I like a f like fully cooked ground beef. Not burnt beyond recognition, but I don't like to see any pink. The recipe link will be down below. And try this one. So remember at the start of this video, I said that this was an easy recipe? Well, it's time to put my words to the test. Grab your veggies, add them to this meat mixture, and baby, 
you're gonna have something simply amazing now you could take the shortcut route and use frozen veggies but for this one just go ahead dice your fresh vegetables up because the colors and the flavor combined mm, mm, mm. Not only that, if you're serving this to your boo, your potential boo, or whomever, they're gonna be impressed with the presentation as the colors are popping through and those flavors are hitting every taste bud. You feel me? Don't forget your crush guys, okay? okay. And some happy taste. Mm. Mm. So I'm just gonna let it keep going until the veggie softening and then I'm going to incorporate my beef stock I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and pop the cauliflower in the microwave to get the chill off homies are you here are you looking at these colors because I'm telling you it smells amazing up in my kitchen this here is a I would say a fall staple I'm gonna add in some beef broth probably about one fourth cup Gonna lie, I just tasted a bit in this guy. I did drain the majority of the water out of the cauliflower rice. So steam it for about two minutes, two, three minutes, and then drain the water off and then I added it into our meat mixture. Now you don't want mashed cauliflower. We're not making shepherd's pie, so gently fold this in just to get the collie rice through that mix, meat mixture. You want like an even distribution. I added some parsley. I'm gonna add a little bit more beef broth and then put the lid on this and put this on a low simmer just to soften up that cauliflower rice. But I didn't need another bag, this was absolutely perfect. Okay, so next up is my chicken. I like to spray my basket with a non-stick cooking spray. I always go for olive oil. This just assures that whatever meat I put on here is not going to stick. So with the chicken, I just used a um, seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, some parsley, paprika. Just kept it really simple because the flavor is going to be in that dirty rice. I like to spray my wings again. And I'm going to cook them in a 400 degree air fryer. Total time, 20 minutes. It tastes so good, guys. And then there is my crispy air fried chicken. So those are my wings. I'm actually going to make them lemon pepper. So I'm gonna melt some butter and some lemon pepper seasoning. Also some um, zest, lemon zest. Toss these around and I am done. I'm gonna stick of butter. And then your lemon pepper seasoning. you want to go ahead and toss them in that lemon pepper butter get them nice and glossy and sexy and then I just put them on a plate add some parsley for color but there you have it 
So those are my lemon pepper wings that we did in the air fryer. And there is our low carb dirty rice. All right, so I promised you quick, easy, flavorful, delicious. I mean, get into these wings. Now, I know the wings weren't really a part of the recipe, but I threw those in because they were in the freezer. We needed to use them. And anyway, back to this dirty rice. Mm, mm, mm. I couldn't stop tasting this. I tried to plate it for the pictures and the video, but baby, listen, put this in your fall rotation. I don't want to be fluffy for the fall. I want to be fine for the fall. So come join me. Open up. Let me go ahead and package some orders. Check me out on Instagram, ATC Living, and get your wildcrafted sea moss. We have a couple more things coming down the pike, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.